Isala Perera is the grand festival with elegant costumes held in July and August in Kandy, Sri Lanka. This historical procession is held annually to pay homage to the sacred tooth relic of Lord Buddha, which is housed at the Sri Dalida Malagawa in Kandy. A unique symbol of Sri Lanka, the procession consists of many traditional local dances such as fire dances, whip dances, Kandayan dances and various other cultural dances, in addition to the elephants who are usually adorned with lavish garments. The festival ends with the traditional Diak Piyama ritual, a water-cutting ceremony which is held at the Mahali River at Getam, Kandy. History The Isala is believed to be a fusion of two separate but interconnected Peraleras a Euro of the Isala and Dalida. The Isala Peralera, which is thought to date back to the 3rd century BC, was a ritual enacted to request the gods for rainfall. The Dalida Peralera is believed to have begun when the sacred tooth relic of the Buddha was brought to Sri Lanka from India during the 4th century CE, 800 years after the passing away of Lord Buddha. According to tradition, the tooth relic was taken in procession to Sri Lanka by Princess Hemamala and Prince Dantha. Modern Peralera The modern Peralera dates back to the reign of the Kandayan king, Kirthi Sri Raja Singhi. During these times, the tooth relic was considered private property of the king and the public never got a chance to worship it. However, King Raja Singhi decreed that the relic be taken in procession for the masses to see and venerate. After the Kandayan kingdom fell to the British in 1815, the custody of the relic was handed over to the Maha Sangha. In the absence of the king, a lay custodian called the Diyamadan in Ilam was appointed to handle routine administrative matters. The procession, the Kandi Asala Peraera begins with a cap site of Ma or Kappa, in which a sanctified young jack fruit tree is cut and planted in the premises of each of the four devils dedicated to the four guardian gods Natha, Vishnu, Katharagama and the goddess Patini. Traditionally it was meant to shower blessing on the king and the people. The Kumbal Peraera, for the next five nights, the devail Peraeras take place within the premises of the four devils with the priest of each devail taking the pole every evening, accompanied by music and drumming, flag and canopy bearers, spearmen and the Ranaluda, the sacred insignia of the gods. On the sixth night, the Kumbal Peraera begins and continues on for five days. Initially, the devail Peraeras assemble in front of the Temple of the Tooth, which is Sri Lanka's most important Buddhist shrine and where the Buddha Euro unregistered trademark a sacred tooth relic has been kept since the 16th century, with their insignias placed on the Ranzi Vij accompanied by the Basnaic Nalames. The relic casket, which is a substitute for the tooth relic, is placed inside the Ranzi Vij affixed to the Malagawa elephant, and the Malagawa Peraera joins the awaiting Devail Peraeras and leads the procession. Whip crackers and fireball acrobats clear the path, followed by the Buddhist flag bearers. Then, riding on the first elephant, is the official called Paramunirala. He is followed by Kandayan drummers and dancers who enthrall the crowd, and are themselves followed by elephants and other groups of musicians, dancers, and flag bearers. A group of singers dressed in white heralds the arrival of the Malagawa Tusker carrying the sacred tooth relic. The Diyamadan in Ilam walks in traditional Kandayan clothed splendor after the Tusker. The second procession is from the Natha Devail, which faces the Sri Dalida Malagawa and is said to be the oldest building in Kandy, dating back to the 14th century. The third is from the Vishnu Devail, also known as the Maha Devail. It is situated in front of the main gate of the Natha Devail. The fourth procession is from the Katharagama Devail, which is on Katu Godal Vidya. This procession includes Kavadi, the peacock dance, in which the pilgrim dancers carry semicircular wooden contraptions studded with peacock feathers on their shoulders. The fifth and final procession is from the Patini Devail, which is situated to the west of the Natha Devail. This is the only procession that has women dances. The following important times are announced by the firing of cannonballs, which can be heard all across Kandy. The commencement of the Devail Peraeras, the placing of the casket on the Tusker's back, the commencement of the Dalida Peraera, the completion of the Peraera, the Randali Peraera, the Randali Peraera begins after five nights of the Kumbal Peraera. Randali refers to palanquins on which the queens of the ruling kings traditionally travelled. Diak Piema and the Day Peraera, 
After a further five nights of the Randali Pera era, the pageant ends with the Dayak Piyama, which is the water cutting ceremony at the Mahali River at Getam, a town a few miles from Kandy. A day Pera era is held to mark the ceremony. Organization of the Pera era The rituals connected with the tooth relic are conducted by monks of the Malwat chapter Malwat and Askaria chapters of the Buddhist clergy in Sri Lanka. It is the duty of the Dhyamadana Nilam to organize the Pera and thus he summons the large number of officials of the Temple of the Tooth and entrusts them with various ceremonial duties connected with the conducting of the Pera He first gets the auspicious time from the Nakath Muatala, the advisor on astrological matters. The task of organizing the different types of dramas is handed over to the four officials known as the Panakamura Bararakarubu. The Malagawa officials also meet the owners of the elephants due to take part in the Perera. The dance troops are given time to prepare. The Basnaic Nilames are then told to organize their processions. See also, Mirugan, Diyamadana Nilame, Sri Dalida Malagawa, Kandy, Nisanka Jayaratan, Raja, External Links, Guide to the Isala Perera in Kandy, Kandy Isala Perera The Most Magnificent Pageant, Kandy and Kandy Perera. Kandi and Asala Perera, Perera photos. The Kandi Asala Perera.